Another example of solving a trig equation looks something like this. 1 plus cosine squared equals 2 cosine squared. Oh, what? did you notice when I said that? That was wrong. I didn't read out my variable, and now you can see how important it is to not lose your variable because they're different, um, which is kind of the, the interesting part of this problem. Um, so reading it out, it's 1 plus cosine squared x equals 2 cosine squared x over 2. So what we're going to do is we're going to use our half angle identity which um, this will, okay, so this is cosine of x over 2 squared. Okay, well, I have an identity for this, for cosine of x over 2. Um, I don't have it in front of me, but I'm pretty sure I remember it. For whatever reason, I struggle to memorize the half-angle identities. Um, but it's the cosine plus, 1 plus cosine. This looks something like that. Well, notice the square and the square root cancel each other out. The twos cancel each other out. The ones cancel each other out. We are on a roll. Move that over. And now I am back to problems that I have seen before. Factor out the cosine. Uh, then that means that cosine of x either needs to equal 0 or it needs to equal 1. On my unit circle, cosine, that's pretend it's a nice pretty cosine equals 0 here and here and then cosine equals 1 over here so from this one um, if they had said find all I would say x equals pi over 2 oh sorry you couldn't see that plus pi k because that goes from here to here adding pi I go half the circle each time and then I would say here x equals um, 2 pi k because it's 0 plus 2 pi k so it's just 2 pi k is the easiest way to do it if I said on the interval from 0 to 2 pi, we would say pi over 2, no, x equals pi over 2, and 3 pi over 2, and 0, and 2 pi. 2 pi is in that interval. Um, if I had done something like, I don't know, on the interval from 0 to 5 pi, I'm just making something up. Well, I have pi over 2, I have 3 pi over 2, but then 5 pi means that I'm going to go all the way around a second time and a half. Um, so I can keep adding, so this is 1, 3, this is 5 pi over 2 would be the next one, 7 pi over 2 would still be in that world, 9 pi over 2, keep in mind this right here is 10, oh you can't see it, 10 pi over 2, so if I do 11 pi over 2 that's too big. Um, and then I have 0, I'd have 2 pi, I'd have 4 pi, and then if I go keep going, I'd, 6 pi would be too big. So I don't know exactly what I'm going to ask you, but this is a good practice coming up with a bunch of them.